Today I'm going to show you how you can open up your own Spreadshirt shop for free, super easy. So first of all, what you need to do is go to Spreadshirt.com. I'll also put a link to it down in the description. From here, you can see that this is the main website. And from there, you need to go up here and click start selling. It's the green button up here. So you're going to go into this site when you uh, click on start selling. And you can read here, make money selling your design on over 200 products, always free, always. You can decide to open your own spread shop or sell on marketplace. If you want to start your own spread shop, this basically means that you need to get all the customers by yourself. It's basically a Teespring store. And if you want to sell on Marketplace, you're going to post your design and then Spreadshirt are going to run ads on those designs. So people from Facebook or Instagram or wherever, Google can come in and purchase from there. I will highly suggest you to sell on the Marketplace if you're not, if you don't have an audience already. So let's click on sell on Marketplace. From here, you can see register now. You need to click on your email needs a new password and a confirmed password and then you need to click i am not a robot and down here you need to click i accept the partner terms and acknowledge the privacy policy i'll highly suggest you also go in reading those and then this page kind of pop up where it's going to say welcome to your partner area upload your designs create your products and sell them to your target group and then there is a checklist number one is you need to create a product and number two you need to choose your spread shirt shop name so let's begin doing that you really just need to click begin guided tour and then you're gonna this page is gonna pop up as you can see where you can upload your first design upload your design here and start creating products you just need to click on browse here the only pick file types they're gonna choose are jpegs pngs chief svj dot ai or dot cdr so if you have any other than that then spreadshirt is definitely not for you i'm just gonna choose this one i found on google i do not recommend to post things you find on google you need to create your own product and from here you can see down here it's not published yet and how to publish it is you need to click on this little pen here and from here you can see choose and design and this is all of the products that your design is on as you can see up here it has 20 out of 158 products so if you want to have more products you can just click all products over here and then all this page is gonna pop up and if you want example men's performance sleeveless shirt you just need to go up here and wing this on and you can see available colors on categories and all of that posters stickers men women kids babies accessories and so on and down here you can you can put in red, blue, like the colors, or you can set as default or reset. And when you're done doing that, you can just go up here and click done. And here you can see if you if you don't already have a design, you can save a selection as a template. And then you can open up with Photoshop or pixel art or whatever website or app you're using to create your designs. From here, you just need to click next and as you can see here, now you need to describe your design with using metadata properly. And as you can see here, the default language is English. You can decide to change that if you want to do that. You can automatically launch language translation, which means that, example this one, we can leave this blank and the, um, the website Spreadshirt are gonna translate your English uh, the sign name over to French is pretty good as you can see here it may take a while but it's gonna pop up don't don't worry then you need to add the description I'm just gonna click something here and the tags as you can see it reminds really much of red bubbles just click hello and just a comma to um, select the tag and they, yeah there you have it when you're done doing all of this, you just go up here and create or click create. And then you're almost there. Just one last thing. From here, you need to um, click in your first, like your first name and last name, country, all of that. 
you can easily do that. Just in the country, I'm just gonna choose Denmark because that's where I'm from. The street, I highly suggest you put your actual street on Spreadshop. It doesn't go anywhere. Don't don't worry, they're not getting hacked or uh, your info is not gonna leak or anything like that. But I'm just gonna click something like this. Um, blah, blah, boom, shim, blah, blah, blah. And the city, I'm just gonna, doesn't really matter. Oh, as you can see here, you need at least 3 to 25 tags. I'm just gonna click something there and just click create again. And as you can see, well done. We have got a few design more tips for you. Please complete the checklist. And now you need to step two, choose your spread name. Just click continue. And from here, you can change your avatar profile. You can do that by clicking this change avatar and just click. I'm just gonna choose this one again. And it should pop up within a couple of seconds, depending on how far, there you go. And down here, you can click in your spread shirt name. This is your shop name. This is where people are going to find you. I'm just gonna click something random just for this tutorial. Down here you can change your password if you want to do that. And to save, you need to click save. And as you can see, now you're basically done. Woohoo, you made it. And now you can get started. Okay, so something that's really important is to take, um, is to uh, confirm your PayPal account with Spreadshirt. So you're gonna get people or you're gonna get money for, for the things you sell. And to do that, you need to go over here to your account and click payment data. And here you can see, you can either transfer to a bank account. You need an American bank account to do this. So I'm pretty sure that 99% of all of you watching is just gonna click your PayPal. They don't have any other than these two, unfortunately, but they probably will maybe in the future have Skrill or anything like that but from here you just need to click account holder that should be your name and your paypal email yeah you just click save and there you have it this is basically much it this is how your dashboard is gonna look like this is where your credit are and the next payout is 16 days and this is down here everything you sold for currently i've sold for zero because i only have one design um yeah keep posting and just Get some sales and get some money. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something about this. Have a great day.